Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how to make a personalized coat rack within ArtCam Express. Firstly I'm going to open a model and I'm going to select this picture of a family portrait that I've saved earlier. Next I need to change the maximum Z range. I'm going to make this 2mm and press open. Here we have to set the model size. So I'm going to change the image size and increase the height to 100 millimeters and press OK. Now if I look at my 3D view I can see that a relief has been generated of the family portrait. If I just zoom in I can see that at the moment the relief is very rough so I'm just going to select smooth relief and do one pass over the whole relief this makes the relief a lot smoother next I'm going to add a border to my relief by pressing model and add border I'm going to add a symmetrical border of 50 millimeters Now I just want to check my material setup by clicking toolpaths and material setup and I want to change my material Z0 to the B at the top of the block and change the material thickness to 10 millimeters. This gives us a review of our relief within the block. Now I'm going to add a base to my relief from the Relief Clip Art Library. This automatically imports a base. I'm just going to center the base and press paste. Now we can see that the relief is on top of a base. Next I'm going to create some holes for the coat hooks and to attach the rack to the wall. I'm going to do this using the circle tool and specifying a diameter of 5mm with a center of 40 in the x direction and 100 in the y direction. This hole will be used to screw the rack to the wall. Now for the holes for the coat hooks. I want to have four hooks, one for each member of the family. So I'm going to specify a centre of 95 in the X direction and 40 in the Y direction. My next hole I'm going to change the X to 145mm and press create. Having done this I can now mirror these holes across the model. I need to make sure the copy the original objects box is ticked and then click across model. Now my vectors for the holes are finished. I'm now going to add some text to the model. So I'm going to change back to my 2D view, click the text tool and click anywhere on the model. Here you could type the names of the family members. The font and size can be changed in this right hand side toolbar, but I'm going to leave them as they are. If I move back into the 3D view now, I can centre my text, and whilst holding Alt, I can drag my text upwards to the correct position. Now my coat rack is ready for the toolpaths to be created. For this I'm going to click on toolpaths and the first one I'm going to do is going to be the outline of the rack. So for this I'm going to create a profile toolpath. If I select the outside vector 
I can specify a start depth and a finish depth and a profiling tool. I'm going to use the end mill 12mm tool. You can then give this toolpath a name and click calculate. Now the toolpath should be shown on the model. I can hide this using these light bulbs. Now I can create the second toolpath which is going to be a 3D machine relief toolpath. For this I'm going to machine the whole relief and I'm going to select a roughing tool and a finishing tool. The smaller the finishing tool the better to capture the detail in the picture. So I'm going to choose the 1.5 ball nose finishing tool. I can then give this a name and hit calculate. Once this is calculated, we can see the toolpath has been created. Once this is calculated, we can see the toolpath has been created. But I'm just going to hide this for now. Next, I'm going to select all of the holes and choose a drilling toolpath. I want to drill through my entire material, so I'm going to use a finish depth of 10 millimeters. For my tool I'm going to select a 5mm end mill and again I can calculate this. And last of all I'm going to make a toolpath for the text. For this I'm going to use the V-bit carving tool. I'm going to give this a start depth of 5mm. and I'm going to use a v-carving tool. Now that all the toolpaths are made, I can run a simulation of the machining. I can do this by clicking simulation. I can then change the material of the simulation. I can then change the material of the simulation to something more realistic. And I can have a closer look to see how my coat rack has turned out. Now that I'm happy with this, I can save my toolpaths by clicking on toolpaths and then save toolpaths. Here I can save the toolpaths as separate files and I can append the details to the file names. I can then choose the correct machine file format for my CNC machine and press save. Now my coat rack is ready for machining. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using ArtCam Express to make your own personalised coat rack.